here we go again guys uh, i did a video uh, on in which i said what should be changed for each commander and uh, there was a lot of critique uh, mostly actually negative on reddit but at least it was pretty good discussion and also discussion on my twitch so i uh, did another video with adjustments but plan to do a separate video for uh, just masteries but i realized that i actually have to t tell it all so you can have the whole picture uh, for uh, the commanders uh, uh, how it should uh, look and uh, I'd, i won't say this is the final because there can only there can always be uh, new ideas but uh, the thing is now i'll put this uh, on paper really and i'll start banging on the some doors to see if uh, i can find people if we can have some team who will do this it will be pretty much work but maybe we can do something we have to because you know how the situation is with blizzard they practically abandoned starcraft so as they have their uh, uh, balance council team and the, the guys who do it for the versus mode we have to do it for co-op too so let's uh, go here we go again okay so for raynor we kind of agreed that uh, my first of course uh, if you watched that video suggestion was that rain or uh, uh, raven should be a new unit here but actually uh, people said it won't fit the lore and it would be better to uh, do uh, the specter so yeah i think specter would be pretty good addition with psionic clash and uh, the pulse thing to, to stand units in area i think it would help uh, Raynor a lot also balanced uh, it gas wise so now you can uh, going bio if you take all four gases it would be enough gas, gas for specters for adding specters to your bio because uh no no normally if you play bio you go only for on two gases uh and of course cheaper scans like 25 percent i wouldn't return the uh, double mule thing that was at start but it was kind of nerfed then and uh, i wouldn't go back to that uh, rather get something new so uh, uh, cheaper scans 25 energy for scan i think that could be pretty good and uh, uh, not uh, tax rainer too much so uh, can still uh, go better on eco while scanning okay so that's for rain or masteries are fine i think nothing should be changed over here now for kerrigan we pretty much all agreed that kerrigan has to come out earlier because if you compare kerrigan uh, with uh, other commanders that uh, hero commanders come out at four minute mark see for zagara uh, you can have uh, zerglings more faster you can also have bane links uh, so that that that's good uh, for Zagara, for uh, Alarak, uh, you have uh, structural overcharge at three minutes. Uh, for Nova, you can drop Marines plus the uh, the defensive drone. You can also uh, build turrets. Railgun turrets are pretty good uh, and repair them. Of course, for Phoenix, you can rush Kaldalis. The Haka, okay, the Haka comes at that uh, one minute, I guess, uh, three minute mark. So uh, Zera tool. Uh, Zera tool even with uh, without the mastery you can gather 800 uh, uh, minerals and uh, get the legion so uh, and then send legion to clear rocks or to kill some enemies later so it, it's okay for uh statement you can have bane links but okay, you can also have spine spines which with mastery more faster they can they don't have need creep to uh, be positioned uh, and they can also be repaired by kerrigan slow morphing and also need to be on creep and later when you defend like you cannot uh, uh uproot them and send them to uh, clear rocks like you can do with statements so uh yeah kerrigan really sucks like on rifts to Korhal and also uh if you get void rifts so kerrigan should be out at three minute mark okay so masteries are good masteries kerrigan's masteries are good uh, artanis should have hero unit supporting unit not strong unit as kerrigan or the haka or gary uh, uh, uh supporting unit like 200 shields and 200 uh, hp maybe with like um, well of course auto attack and uh, uh and also the, the the dash thing and and uh, astral wind should be good because the tennis units cannot heal just recharge shields so it would be good to have a like uh 
that that thing that uh, astral wind to heal them like 100 shields plus 100 hp every maybe 20 seconds um, so uh, yeah uh, one supporting hero unit should be good for Artanis because usually Artanis for most mutations is kind of near at the bottom or near the bottom of the tier list uh, and for ma uh, uh, masteries uh, are good uh, and uh, I would leave chrono boost for Artanis for some five commanders have chrono boost for two of them I would definitely remove I'll say later which one that are for Artanis I like chrono boost uh, for like especially for Valorous Inspirator and uh, also for uh, well P0 so it's uh, it's okay uh, but I would also add uh, I will stick to my original idea to add Ar uh, increase Archon's uh, energy pool maximum pool by 50% so you can have a maximum of 300 and also add uh, plasma blast which would fit Archon's because they are made of plasma so plasma blast ability that deals same as uh, uh, the s hybrid dominators have that can deal 260 damage so that's that would be a li really good addition to kind of make Archon unique because it's really not the brawling unit like T-Rex Arms 3, 3 range makes it maybe good like against uh, Devouring Scourge but not really a brawling unit so to be a little bit different uh, from uh, High Templar because Morphe to High Templar into an Archon just, just uh, you, sw you swap uh, two energy balls pulls for a single one so normally we just want to use storms you stay on just high templars okay um that's it um, and of course with valorous inspirator then archon's plasma blast would also do double damage which would be pretty uh, cool uh for swan i was uh, getting suggestions for a double sv production i would not get it for swan as i said i would get it with han horner will get there because swan already has faster SCV production by 3 seconds instead of 17 he has 14 second production time so uh, and also can faster expand because of multi, multi builds so uh, uh, Swan doesn't need actually that only thing that Swan needs uh, was also uh, given that suggestion and I think it's fair that Swan needs instead of immortality protocol master which is too situational uh, instead of that I would get it uh, uh, unit health so you would choose either you want a structure health or 60% maximum so that's 2% two, two per point or uh, unit health that would be 1% per point so maximum plus 30% unit health that could be good because this uh, unit build ramps up uh, uh, slower so have a unit more uh, beefy that would be good uh, that's the only thing I, I would uh, change for uh, Swan except yeah the Grease Monkey the suppression uh, fire suppression system that would uh, now uh, repair units not to full health but rather repair units uh, uh, tw at twice the speed because uh, with th these uh, prestige it doesn't do other other uh, structure upgrades do things like uh, other three upgrades but this is not affected and should be uh, so uh, yeah turret upgrades are 100 percent more effective so that should be the case and that that's actually a, a bug so i would uh, uh, remove uh, that bug so unit units would be actually just turrets would be repaired uh, uh, twice the the fast other other structures would still be repaired normally because that is the case with the armor upgrade too like with armor upgrade uh, you get normally plus two for other structures but turrets get plus four armor so uh, so that's the thing with uh, the grease uh, monkey okay uh, zagara doesn't need anything i think zagara is good three good prestiges uh, now vorazun as i said i stick to my original idea I would make, uh, I would swap this shadow guard duration reduced by 40. I would actually make even 50%, but I would get it here because uh, losing recall sucks big time. So here I would have a uh, uh, instead of losing recall, uh, shadow guard duration uh, reduced. So people don't uh, rely so much on shadow guard with this prestige. And um, but here they would be even last even longer because there would be no downside this type but actually if you have free units like this and very powerful free units a lot of them every more and more each time stop uh, then actual units should cost more and i would increase i would uh, get as 
uh, as disadvantage to uni for units to cost 30 percent more uh, so um but for master is then this is okay dark pile and rager black hole duration uh, uh, other than that also yeah withering siphon that uh, uh effect could now kill that would i think be a pretty big step in the right direction and making this uh prestige a lot more viable uh but uh, you see this mastery shadow guard duration of time stop unit spin increase is also too situational and i would uh, uh replace this with combat unit cost minus 20 percent and if uh that would be 20 percent of higher value of uh, if uh, like unit costs 100 minerals then with this prestige it would cost 130 but 20 percent of 130 brings it back almost entirely so it would be just a little bit more expensive uh, as uh, than the original with this mastery and here if you use uh, 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 this prestige then of course units would be cheaper all other prestige units would be just 20 percent cheaper which i think it would be okay and here also instead of chrono boost there is warazon has no business having chrono boost efficiency because you always choose initial maximum spirit of energy it would be it's a lot better but i would actually remove uh, replace both of these like instead of chrono boost efficiency i would have uh, uh the research all research including upgrades uh cost and speed one uh, percent per point so 30 percent uh, uh, less uh, cost and also 30 percent faster uh, research that would be pretty good so you would have uh, actually then cheaper warazon or that or not initial and maximum spirit of energy i didn't I mean maximum is not important because you let it go over the max over the normal maximum that you're playing her wrong because you need to use <laughs> need to use spear of Adun energy uh, so uh, instead of that I would actually make uh, to choose like these uh, similar to expedition uh, expeditious evolutions uh, of uh, Kerrigan and here uh, uh, instead of initial maximum spear of Adun energy I would uh, make it uh, spear of Adun energy uh generation rate uh two percent uh, per point so plus 60 percent uh more spirit of dude energy that would be pretty good okay you would not be able to place dark pylon right at the start of the game but it's really not not that big of a thing i mean that that's that that's the thing you will be uh, you have to adapt yeah i think that would be a lot better than it, it, these masteries are now okay so that's that would be pretty significant change to warazon carax uh, some people are whining about architect over but it is actually use, useful against uh, some uh, hard mutation like on oblivion express you can use it it's very useful and um, also um like all memorable boss even the new one and uh call this the void like hard mutations like this architect of war is useful of course solar celestial, celestial is uh, mostly used and most useful in uh, most cases but uh, architect of war isn't like black warden now it is useful prestige so i would actually leave carax as it is even chrono boosts so because i sometimes if you like templar i like to use uh, chrono boost to, to boost my units so i think i would leave carax as it is carax is good carax is good okay for abattoir i stick to my original idea masteries are good but for limitless uh, make uh, queens be able to deep tunnel without vision or exploration like uh, brutally scanner that would open a lot of uh, good luring opportunities a lot of uh, uh, interesting play styles so i think um i think it would be good i mean play styles play styles is pretty much always mass brutalism but uh more luring opportunities i think that would be pretty pretty good pretty big uh, change for better to this prestige okay alarak uh, this artificer of soul maybe uh, get it to uh, have uh, 20 percent cheaper uh, uh, upgrades because this is re uh, really a uh, good uh, and probably the strongest al alarx like the prestige because each supplicant can buff uh g can give double buffs if you supp uh, sacrifice supplicant to ascendant then it will buff that ascendant and also a, a robo unit nearby so then you can late game you can have a, a really strong ascendant robo army 
primarily ascent and prat walker but getting there is kind of hairy because early game it's cheap it's uh, more expensive you have to uh, get robo units get ascendants and also get all their upgrades while having only uh, weaker weaker alarak early game so i think it deserves just a little bit you know above uh, to to uh you know uh, lowering the cost of the upgrades now as uh, master is uh, Combat unit attack speed, I think it deserves a little buff. I think uh, maybe double would be too uh, big, but let's say 50%. So instead of uh, 0 0.5, uh, to have 0.75% uh, percent, uh, per point, so maximum of 22.5%, I think that would be uh, uh, good. But uh, okay, this is okay. Uh, but this here also, Alarak has no business having chrono boost efficiency because uh, uh, you always choose structure overcharge. So uh, I would also get, uh, like, what as I would get it to combat unit cost and uh, uh, maximum of 20% uh, uh, decrease in combat unit cost. I think that would be pretty good. Uh, for Alarak, then you would have uh, more thinking to do to choose because now it's uh, like no brainer, like you never choose Chrono Boost efficiency for uh, for Alarak because this is just too powerful. Okay, Prestige is uh, okay, nothing uh, to change uh, there. Some people say Shadow of Death is OP, but it's actually not because you know, uh, destroyers are uh, against many compositions, you cannot just move because you lose them. They are vulnerable to splash damage to seeker missiles storms a uh, lot of stuff so uh, many mutators so it's not just you you, you get the mothership you uh, get uh, destroyers and win i need to do a lot of micro there and sometimes just get the mothership but go normal normally like with ascendance with something because uh, it's uh, destroyers are strong but vulnerable okay uh, nova uh, as I said, tactical dispatcher, I would remove, okay, I would remove uh, cooldown of tactical airlift, and but also remove the griffin, so for 200, the mineral cost of, uh, I initially thought of increasing the cost, but it's actually okay, uh, removing the price completely would be kind of, you know, you, would, you could jump here and there, like just like that you know without uh, cooldown without any cost i think it's a little bit too op so let it remain 200 mineral cost but it would give a lot of mobility because it would still be even uh, with uh, mastery take the, uh, the griffin cost 70 uh, uh 700 uh, uh, minerals so this would be three and a half times cheaper and so instead of uh, using the just uh, kill all button, okay, Griffin airstrike, you would have to fight, but you would have more mobile. I think that would be pretty uh, good, you know, um, uh, for uh, this prestige, make it more vi viable. Infiltration specialist, I kind of agree that it's uh, really no brainer for Nova. She's always super close. You can get into enemy base and uh, just leave her there if you don't snipe anything or attack. Uh, like she's there nothing can hurt her so i would actually rework this to actually uh, super cloak having uh, like 30 seconds duration with 60 second cooldown so now i can use it uh, uh, half of the of uh, the time and then i think uh, she would be uh, not to lose it to, for, for sniping the fighting but actually be super cloaked uh, permanently whatever she does but uh, for the duration you know so you have to plan when to do stuff, when to get her out, uh, so that that would be uh, good, and I think this cooldown shouldn't be affected by her dying, because then you can just buy her back and uh, will be reset, so uh, I think that would be a better way of using tactical uh, dispatcher, uh, sorry, infiltration <laughs> special specialist, uh, and uh, as for masteries, uh, masteries, uh, now uh, this is good, the first one is good, but the middle one, like combat unit attack speed, uh, I've heard uh, that KG uses it, but I mean, you always want uh, no primal ability improvement because it's a lot better. So, uh, initial, uh, initial thoughts were uh, boosting this, 
like to maybe 30 percent but then like liberators are strong enough uh, if they fire even faster that would be too op so instead of that i would actually make it a uh, combat unit active ability cooldown reduction by one percent per point so that would be a maximum 30 percent reduction and that would be a lot better because that would not affect uh, already very strong units like uh, goliaths goliaths are pretty good all around their unit like uh, they can attack both air and ground uh, pretty good not too expensive uh, and liberators which are also pretty strong very strong against ground but they're also good against air so uh, it would not affect them because they don't have uh, special abilities uh, but it would affect everything else like uh, marines more steam uh, marauders more magral munitions uh, ghosts uh, uh, more uh, snipes and also more emps uh, bench is more of these uh, well, do they have barrage i forgot yeah i think so ravens all three abilities more of them uh, and uh, hellbots more uh, jump things so uh, that uh, did I forget? Oh yeah, siege tanks, more spider mines. Okay, spider mines do cost minerals, but you could have, if you have money, you can have more. So I think that would be a lot uh, more viable, not for more, uh, uh, you know, a uh, comp lot bigger competition than this, and more interesting uh, for some playstyles, you know, to have more uh, active abilities for your combat uh, units. I think that would be really good. Okay. Uh, that's it uh, for Stuco Plague Warden. As I said already, uh, I would give uh, Benches a tactical jump, and I would also make compound uh, by default spawning 15% uh, uh, volatile infested. So with masteries, it would be uh, with masteries, it would be 30%, uh, and also give that to Alexander too. And downside would be that bunkers cannot unload units or spawn. And also the Marines' uh, life, uh, time of life reduced by 50%. That I think would be a pretty uh, go cool trade off, pretty good. Would make this prestige uh, more viable because this is now probably the useless prestige in the game. As for masteries, uh, they are good, nothing needs to nothing needs change over here. Uh, okay, Let me just get this back. Uh, for Phoenix, uh, now I was thinking about, I think Master is, is good, Chrono also, sometimes you need a Rush Kaldalis. Uh, Unconquered Spirit, to make it not just weaker uh, network administrator, I would actually uh, disable the Phoenix suits, but advantage would be that instead of champions uh, having uh, reduced, uh, reduced uh, range and life, uh, actually, I would make the, well, Avenging Pro Protocol effect, uh, well, champions, but also, in addition to being effective, uh, increased 100% efficiency, and also champions that die the refund, in addition to that, I would make it to have uh, also effect on the army, but weaker effect, let's say, uh, maybe, maybe like 20 or 30% uh, effect on an army too, so it would be kind of army prestige uh, that on uh, the expense of the, uh, on having uh, the phoenix suits i think that would be fair uh, because somebody suggested removing champions but uh, that would not be good because phoenix revolve too much on the champions if you remove the champions then it's just weaker carax you know <laughs> that's that's the thing because no repair beam and no other benefits that carax has okay uh, the haka the only needs only thing that it needs uh, bug fix and that is the to primal contender Dacron so the that uh, the the benefits the advantage also affects his uh, Thorns aura uh, but also remove uh, pro it should prop be sorry guys uh, <coughs> should be properly fixed that the bug that uh, made the Kron die instantly when the double edged uh, is present and uh, Tangor or fixed it uh, by uh, adding the double edged uh, not be not uh, be not affecting the uh, heroic uh, not heroic map bosses which uh, primal pack leaders are and that's i think is too much because 
pack leaders are immune to too many mutators already, so that should be reversed and uh, uh, properly fixed if it can be fixed. Okay, uh, nothing else. I would change nothing else. I think everything else is okay. Uh, master is and so. Mm, some as people suggest nerfing the Haka. Uh, I feel bad about nerfing the Haka. Still uh, requires skill to macro the Haka and so on. Pack leaders are strong, but yeah. Okay. For Han and Horner, I would still give them Planetary Fortress. Some people opposed to that, but uh, many people agree because uh, their static defense sucks. So Planetary Fortress, I would give them like uh, requirement engineering bay cost 150-150 and make it like the good uh, unit uh, to uh, for, for some maps. Uh, and also double, uh, double SCV production, they need it more than Swan. So, uh, yeah, that would be it. And uh, for uh, Master is, okay, thinking on buffing this, but actually I would not buff uh, Strike Fighters, but uh, Galactic Gun Runners, I would change Galactic Gun Runners instead of uh, bomb bombing platforms cost 100% uh, more, let them cost normally, but instead of that, uh, trade-off would be to disable the fleet, call in the fleet, and also space station. I think that would be a good uh, uh, trade-off. Although you sometimes combine the, the playstyle, you know, uh, you uh, get the strike fighter somewhere t for vision, and then you drop there the space station or uh, fleet. But I guess, I mean, for this you would just use uh, strike fighters, you could build more. So uh, that would be uh, uh, pretty good. And then if I buff the radius, as, as some people suggested me, then it would be too much. Or if they could strike air, I think it would also be too much. So that would be, I think, proper uh, fix to this prestige. Uh, as for uh, masteries, I would only be buffing significant other bonuses to get double because it's it only hits late game and it's well not so impactful so uh i would buff uh, this uh, to get to be double this is i think okay so that would be changes to han and horner tycos lone wolf needs masteries are good this prestige good beautiful is good but lone wolf needs nerf because it's too op first i thought uh, removing uh, the the damage reduction but okay maybe to remove it completely would be too much so but 50 percent somebody suggested having 10 percent for each outlaw but then again you would have 50 percent uh, when all outlaws out and i think it is too much i would make it five so uh you have 30 percent more damage for each outlaw and five percent uh, damage reduction, so when you have all five out, it would be 25% damage reduction. I think that would be kind of fair. Uh, pretty significant nerf, but it needs because it's this way is just it's just too OP. Okay, uh, Zeratul uh, Legion needs to be uh, nerfed. I mean, the, the, you, ha you can have Legion too often, and Legion is very powerful, so instead of every two seconds, uh, I would have it uh, have every uh, available every four seconds, and uh, that would be. It. I would buff uh, an axon a little bit. Super clo cloak duration instead of fifteen. Make it every twenty seconds. Uh, make it uh, every. Make it uh, last for twenty seconds. So uh, that could be. That would be a little bit better. You know, to match the duration of Parasaur's time stop, and it is. I think the, the least used. The used prestige uh, herald of the void is fine uh, so yeah that's the that's the thing maybe uh, nerf i thought nerfing cannons to not to uh, benefit from attack upgrades but i don't know maybe maybe not maybe just for now uh legion desert was not really nerfed kind of in the past but okay making legion uh not being available so much would be a good uh, uh, start. I think maybe it would be enough. Okay, and uh, I already uh, said for uh, Statman, signal save and making satellites detectors could be good. I don't know what else to, to do. Maybe uh, more bonuses from uh, stat zones, but then with masteries, I think it's 
some units would be too fast. So uh, I think adding s uh, detection to satellites would be a good addition. Uh, of course, in addition to uh, uh, reworking best body because having the monster with 2000 HP and doing double damage and with uh, with Igor and also auto attack is too much. So I would have uh, as additional uh, thought to rework this to have a 40% uh, cool, uh, re uh, cool down reduction on the abilities uh, uh, and mastery would not be uh, uh, mastery would not add because that would be 70% but actually based on already lower value so it would be uh, with master it would be 59% uh, uh, cool down reduction uh, as uh, compared to original so uh, that would be good but the trade-off uh, I first I thought uh, Gary completely disabled out of the zone and that cannot get out physically but if he loses his satellite dies or uh, if you lose Gary's zone then uh, then uh, it would be completely disabled unless powered by Infestor that could be kind of cool addition but uh, I agree with some comments that it would uh, be not enough of a trade-off because it would almost never happen so I would actually make uh, Gary to lose Gary's zone so you would have more Igorbs more uh, more uh, teleports more overcharges but uh, no carry zone so more mobility inside of the zone but not overall like you can uh, get carry zone and uh, travel around so that would actually make uh, a p0 more viable and uh, it would be kind of good uh, good trade-off or best body or baron is fine and as for master is uh, uh, the gary ability cooldown is always better than this so I would actually make the upgrade research cost actually uh, go all research resource cost at least that so all research is not not just upgrades I mean upgrades are attack and armor upgrades um, so uh, cost uh, more that's the least we can do uh, and also uh, here okay this is I mean it's maximum energy pool is situational but okay if you're going bane like this is good uh, and this is uh, this is good so uh, nothing else to change and here like uh, earth splitters are really bad like they they are too OP they have too big of a range so I was thinking like uh, other reduce their range maybe uh, like reduce their range maybe by 10 and also uh making them more expensive like they go to cost at least 200 200 or uh, uh the other thing would be to maybe not to reduce their range but uh, to uh make them 300 300 and also add supply cost like two supply because now too many things can be done with them and they probably shouldn't have been introduced into co-op in the first place so uh Earth splitters, uh, yeah. I would actually make them uh, a little bit uh, range reduction, like by by ten, and then uh, also make them more expensive, like 200, 200 like that would be uh, uh, okay for uh, for earth splitters in general, not just toxic tyrant that revolves around them because you cannot remove earth splitters because you have uh, the whole prestige revolving around them, so uh, removing them. Can cannot be done. It would be too much to think now. And then what to what to do for the the first prestige? Because if you remove the splitters, then and some people say that uh, they are too big thing for a uh, for Manx, and then without them, it would actually be too too weak of a commander. So, uh, but they need to be nerfed definitely. Okay. Uh, as for prestiges, uh, I wouldn't change anything. Uh, uh, but master is. Uh, uh, this royal guard experience gain rate uh, needs to be buffed like 15 percent is not enough i would make it 30 percent okay so that's that's the thing and that's pretty much uh, all did i forget anything i think i didn't so this would be the change this would be the change for the commanders and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it uh thanks for watching uh, please comment if you have any additional ideas and uh yeah i'll put this on paper and uh let's see maybe john grand games uh, 
have some uh, guys or somebody else maybe we can find some guys that are willing to do it uh, and uh, to do to you know do something because we are gaining nothing in co-op and it's pretty frustrating okay uh, thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you liked it and uh, yeah, you can also support me on patreon and that's it see you guys